Hi guys, this is Jenny from Curators. It's um, 558 on 721, which is the day that we're supposed to be able to mint the Artifact Times Nike AR hoodie. Uh, that is for Clonex and CryptoKicks holders. And we kind of know the website uh, for minting, but they do have like a Cloudflare site up. So Artifact just tweeted out. Um, it's asking for you to put in your email and get a code. Apparently that is actually for developers that are working on the website right now. So there is no code that will go out to anyone just in case you ever see this. Now you know. Um, they've said that they're gonna tweet out you know, when the site is actually live. There's supposed to be 8,888 available and there are actually more holders than that. So we're gonna do our best to try and get one. All right, I am in the Discord before um, the site goes live for the Artifact hoodie. Let's see if they have any updates. It is 6 p.m., so we're gonna try. Okay, we still see the Cloudflare site. It is 6.00 p.m. Um, Eastern, which is when the site was supposed to go live. It looks like it's still actually not. So it is 6.18 p.m. The hoodies were supposed to launch at um, 6 p.m. today. And, you know, not uncommonly, it seems like there's some technical problems with the launch of this Mint. Um, I know the artifact in the past, like when they launched the Mint of the Clonex is, um, is that how you say it? Clonex is? <laughs> when they launched the Clonex Mint, um, they did get a lot of like DDoS attacks and they had to actually pause that. So I am hoping, you know, that they're doing everything to keep the community safe. And uh, we'll just hang in there. They said, um, apologies, everyone, doing a last minute fix. We will give a 10 minute notice before we go live. It shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. So people on the Discord, of course, uh, there's a lot of misinformation and things like Discord and spreading of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt around things like this mint, especially when you have something that is um, an item of limited quantity. So people say things like, oh, I minted it. It's done. It's sold out all of which are lies because nobody can get to the website because when you try to go to Artifact, which is rtfkt.com, um, all that's showing up is the Cloudflare page, which means that they are still in dev mode and they're you know, doing something behind the scenes to get ready for the Mint to go live. Um, again, you know, I would much rather they take their time and even put a pause on the Mint for a certain duration of time just to get things straightened out rather than do anything risky. All right, guys, it is 6.43 p.m. Um, we did get this update from Artifact at uh, about five minutes ago that the drop is going live at 6.50 p.m. Eastern. So hopefully everything will work um, at that time. We're definitely ready to try. It's about seven minutes from now. Okay, so um, I did go to the Art Artifact website after clearing my browser's history. Um, originally, it showed up with the hoodie listed on the left and it actually said sold out, but it hasn't even gone live yet, so I don't think it's sold out. Um, it did refresh after I cleared the data and it says you are now online. Your estimated wait time is one minute. But as far as I know, we're still maybe like seven minutes away from this going live, so um, we might have to refresh. I'm not sure. Ah, now we've changed to estimated wait time is five to 10 minutes, which sounds more accurate. Okay, so supposedly the site has gone live. The time keeps jumping around. Um, it's been up to more than an hour. Now it's back down to 21 minutes to 42 minutes. So it seems like this page is refreshing. We'll just have to see what happens. 26 to 52 minutes. I really, I don't know what's going on. Um, some people, in here, I just don't know really what's going on at all. So we'll see. We'll hang in there. Feeling a little sad right now because the queue is now up to 55 minutes to more than an hour. When I started out, which I have on here, it was like a really short wait time. And for some reason, it just keeps going up. It's almost like when the page refreshes, I'm getting sent to the back of the line. I'm not sure if that's what's happening, but it kind of feels like that. Well, we're still waiting. It's 7.19 p.m. Um, the site went live at like 
6.50 p.m., so that's actually 30 minutes. In that time, uh, the page has refreshed multiple times, and my wait has gotten longer and longer. So I think, again, when we started out, it maybe was somewhere under 15 minutes, and then we went to like 37, then 40-something, and then it was like 50-something, and now we're over an hour. Um, I did look at the open C for this drop, and it looks like, I think the way you interpret this, it's kind of weird when there's only like one um, item there, 779 owners, so I don't know how many have actually been minted. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to maybe go to like either scan and check that out, uh, but I'm just gonna stay in the queue and hopefully I will get there um, sometime before 8.20 or you know, shortly thereafter. But it is a little weird that it said it's gonna be over an hour and it hasn't changed for a long time. You'd think that you would see the wait time go down, but if anything, it's only continued to go up. So not the best user experience. Okay, this is hilarious. So we just went from one hour wait time to more than four hours. I don't know what's going on, if the mint is super slow, or if somehow um, they've set this refresh so that every time it refreshes, you're actually going to the end of the line instead of where you were originally in line and moving forward. But it feels very frustrating. Oh, look, now it's only two hours. We're moving forward. Maybe someone changed it. So it's 7.37, um, the mint went live at 6.50, we were in a queue that said, you know, like, you saw it in 15 minutes or something, and then we went to like an hour, and then two hours, and then four hours, and I think we were back to two, and then back to one, and now we're at three hours. I don't know what's going on, I do know in the Discord a lot of people are talking about minting from the contract directly. So maybe it's the case that when people mint from the contract, it changes the queue time. I, I don't know. Um, but it's weird that, you know, a queue, when you are moving forward more than like, let's say you have a queue for an hour, you would think that you would go down in the queue. But here we're just going higher. So I don't know exactly what is going on, but maybe it's an issue with the contract. Um, jumping in line I guess we'll find out I'm not feeling super optimistic about actually getting this hoodie right now I don't think I have the technical skills to mint this from the contract and I'm very um, hesitant to go to like minting addresses that I don't know are official so we'll just hang out and uh, see if we somehow ever succeed in this or what happens but you know we definitely tried it's on video and uh, you guys are seeing it not in real time, but you're seeing it like right after the fact. Okay, so I finally got onto the website. Um, I've added it to the cart. I'm trying to figure out how to check out. Wait, I don't need two of these. I only want one. So we have two. Um, so basically they changed, well, I'll talk about it in a second. I just want to get this done. I agree to whatever they're having me agree to. I agree to that. I confirm I'm not subject to sanctions. Okay. Point two plus gas fees. Hopefully gas fees are not supposed to be bad. We'll see how it goes. Transaction in progress. You are signing. Okay. Hopefully this is all good and legitimate. So it looks like it's point two. Our estimated gas fee is about four bucks. So that's all to be expected. That's what we were told ahead of time. And we're minting. So essentially um, we were waiting in the queue. It kept saying like an hour left. Somebody in Discord finally said, oh, hey, actually add www in front of rtfkt.com and you can get the website to load. So that's what I did. Um, I'm on the www.rtfkt.com website. I'm really, really hesitant to go to any website that's not like written in the official language that the um, 
the team puts out. So even just going to this is a little bit nerve wracking, but I did um, log into their website earlier today and it seemed like everything was functioning the same way as the website was originally today. So hopefully this all goes through and we'll be good for the night. So ironically, um, even though the queue actually never changed from <laughs> an hour, I mean, well, it did change from an hour. It went all the way up to a crazy four hours and it's now 8.01. We essentially started at 6.50 to 7.50 to 8.01 is about an hour and 10 minutes. So we circumvented the system, but we did get it through uh, their website and um, Hopefully everything is legitimate and above board that we have gone through. I think that this actually showed you kind of how the website worked. I got a little bit excited once I got logged in. So um, I don't know that I showed you step by step, but at the same time, I'm glad that we were able to get this completed. Uh, and I'm sure that the artifact team met well and probably had a lot of um, stressful things happening on the back end, as well as probably everyone jumping the gun through the contract. So I imagine that they'll put out some information about it, but for me, I'm glad that this is over and uh, I go to bed now. Um, well, actually, it's not that late yet, but at the same time, thank you for watching. Please take a minute to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know what else we can show you. And um, tomorrow I will record the forging of the physical sweatshirt so that you guys can see how that process works. It said today, uh, when I say it, I mean, the artifact team said that they were doing the mint today and that we could do the physical forging tomorrow. So that's when we actually um, get to order the shirt. I'll actually go back here for a second because they do have this section of the website for forging set up. And uh, we should be able to use that tomorrow. All right. Have a great night. Thank you. So um, just because I did have to do that little workaround, I wanted to verify that the hoodie actually showed up in my wallet from the um, verified source, and it does. So if you go to, for example, like your wallet of NFTs, you can see it here. Um, it is the verified artifact times Nike AR hoodie. Uh, it looks like they're actually up to about 7.4 thousand total. And since there's only 8,888, I guess jumping the queue or whatever we did as that workaround with the WWW is the right way to go. And uh, that's it. So can't wait to be able to forge it tomorrow again. Just wanted to show you what this looked like. Hi, just one last thing to add. Um, Artifact did tweet out after the whole minting was done, the hoodie did sell out. Um, basically, uh, the artifact rtfkt.com site never properly worked. Everybody was stuck in the queue, but people were able to successfully mint the hoodies by either minting from the contract or else going to www.rtfkt.com, um, which seemed to circumvent that queue somehow. So, People were able to mint the hoodies in that way, and 8,888 were minted. So even though the uh, mint might have gone till tomorrow, it actually has sold out already this evening. Uh, and Artifact did provide a little bit of additional detail around the technical issues that happened. Um, Samuel Cardio.eth uh, did post kind of a detailed explanation. It looks like there was an issue with um, a third party site that was supposed to be doing some type of verification and essentially it led to a really big slowdown in that line um, because they were having a problem with people not being able to like verify their items. Um, and it apparently was outside of regular business hours for uh, when that, um, third party was available, which I guess made it even harder to fix. So I think, uh, you know, every time we go through something like this, it's a learning experience. Obviously the team at Artifact didn't want the Mint to go this way. It's never good um, customer service when you have your end users experiencing technical difficulties like this. 
And so that's a bummer. Uh, but, you know, it is technology and there's always going to be a couple of glitches. And when you go live with stuff, it's never exactly the same as how you test it. So you just try to do the best that you can. I'm sure that they will learn and evolve uh, for the next Mint. And can't wait to see what they come out with next. I'm really looking forward to... Um, to forging the hoodie and seeing the actual physical version in real life. Thanks again. Have a great night.